A warm welcome to the Uxbridge FM History Show and it's an absolute pleasure as usual to welcome back Ken Pierce, Chairman of the Uxbridge Local History Society. Morning Ken, how are you? Oh, pretty good, thanks very much. Yes, yes. Now, <laughs> first talk today, George Orwell in Hayes and Uxbridge, when you're ready. Thank you. Yeah, my subject today is, well, Eric Blair, his real name, novelist, poet, journalist, although he wrote under the pen name of George Orwell. He was born in India in 1903, where his father worked for the Indian Civil Service, which was, of course, at that time, um, part of the Great British Empire. But when he was one year old, his mother brought him back to England here and they lived at Henley-on-Thames. He attended several schools, but finally won a scholarship to Eton College. His family couldn't afford to send him to university, but he accepted a post with the Imperial Police in Burma, which again was then part of British India. Apparently, during that time, he made few friends, spent a lot of time just reading, and also visiting the countryside round about. But after five years in the Imperial Police, he contracted Deng fever, and he was granted leave to come to England. Back home, he decided to resign from the police and determined to make a career as a writer. So he moved to London, spending a great deal of time in the East End among the poorer classes and dressing as a tramp. He then moved to Paris, where he lived among working class people and beggars. But after two years, he came back to this country and recorded his experiences in his book down and out in London and Paris. He then settled in the family home at Southwold. But in April 1932, he accepted a post as teacher at the Hawthorns. This was a small private school in Church Road, Hayes. There were only about 15 boys in the whole school between the ages of 10 and 16. And apart from Orwell, there was only one other teacher. Orwell was not impressed with Hayes. In fact, he wrote, It's one of the most godforsaken places I've ever struck. The population seems to be made up of clerks who frequent tin roof chapels on Sundays, and for the rest, bolt themselves within doors. So, not surprisingly, perhaps, he resigned from that post after three months. But then, in September 1933, he became a teacher at Frey's College in Harefield Road, Uxbridge. This was a private school with about 200 pupils between the ages of five and 16. He had a flat in the school grounds and in his spare time worked on his novel, Burmese Days, based of course on his time in the police in that country. He also acquired a motorcycle and enjoyed trips going out from Uxbridge into the countryside. But alas, on one occasion, in December 1933, he was caught in a storm and he returned cold and soaked through. Unfortunately, he developed pneumonia and was taken to Uxbridge Cottage Hospital in Harefield Road. That's now the care home known as Clare House. He spent Christmas there but when he was discharged in January, he decided to give up teaching. So this was the end of Orwell's two short spells in our borough. 
and there are no blue plaques because the rule is that you have to live for two years in a property to qualify for a plaque. Orwell's best work, in fact, lay ahead, and especially his books Animal Farm and 1984. Frey's College closed in 1974 and the premises were taken over by our borough council as an adult education centre. They sold up in 2005 and the site has since been redeveloped as apartments called The Glade. Thanks, Ken. Very interesting. That reminds me of my GCSE English really? studying George Orwell. <laughs> <laughs> Very interesting, man. Yeah. Well, stay tuned with more to come.